Hi, I'm Adam with Source and Summit. I'd love to give you a quick walkthrough of how to use your free digital support resource that comes with your subscription to the Source and Summit missile. Let's have a quick look. First, go to sourceandsummit.com and log in using the email address that you provided when you purchased your missile subscription. Once you are logged in, you can change your email and password to anything that you'd like. And you arrive at the dashboard. When you first see the dashboard, you won't see a whole lot because we have not added our first liturgy yet. So let's go ahead and click the Add Liturgy button. And we can browse by date or search for the name of the liturgy we'd like to prepare. But I'm going to select November 28th, which is the first Sunday of Advent. I can add a liturgy subtitle. I can add mass times and then click the Add Liturgy button. I then arrive in Prepare mode of the application, and I can see all of the texts that belong to this Mass that I'm about to prepare. Sometimes there is more than one antiphon to select. In this case, there's only one, so I'll go ahead and select it. And then I see the antiphon with its verses and a number of musical setting options on the right. There are two in the Source and Summit Missile. First is the Through Compose setting that's fully notated, and second is the Tone option, the pointed text with the mode that's recommended. So I'm going to select the first option here, and the music pops right into place. Now you'll see, you're seeing square notes, but don't let that frighten you. We can change that to modern notation with a single click. We can actually do it to the entire Ordo to this entire liturgy with a single click as well, and I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, if we wanted to select the other option, we can do that also very quickly. Uh, but for the sake of demonstration, let's use the first option, which is the one that you find notated right in the missile. All right, now I've made all the selections that I need to, and I've done that in just a couple of minutes. Now, if I'm an accompanist or if I want to prepare the music for my accompanist, I will go up to the top right hand corner in the drop down that says Ordo. Now the Ordo is the name of this document that we're preparing. It contains all of the elements of the order of worship that we're preparing, or the order, the liturgical order. Now there are different roles that I can uh, conform this content to. If I wanted to give just SATB or figured harmonizations and accompaniments to my accompanist, I would click uh, just that accompanist SATB uh, button in the drop down. And now I have all of the accompaniments that I need. Now it might be that my accompanist wants to have chord symbols as well. So if I select the option that says SATB plus chord symbols, you'll now see all of those chord symbols in place. And now, uh, just a quick, a quick note or two, you can see for all of the hymns and songs that there is a uh, indication of where to find it in the Source and Summit Missile. This is on hymn number 148, and the same would be true of our recessional hymn number 63, etc. You can see that all of the settings have turned purple, and that's because I'm in one of these uh, role-based modes. I've, I've selected the accompanist role, and therefore everything turned purple, and I actually cannot configure anything manually in the right panel. If I wanted to do that, I would have to go back to the Ordo uh, mode. Next week, we'll go more in depth into how to prepare liturgies using the Source and Summit digital platform. Bye for now.